the football battle of the century and 74,000 fans spin the turnstiles to jam every seat in Yankee Stadium. Those coveted Army Notre Dame ducats are the password today and football fans are on edge everywhere. The West Point cadets are out in full force to cheer their team on in an effort to hang up the nation's gridiron title. And they're going to need all that famous Army spirit in this meeting with an unbeaten Irish squad eager to knock down the cadets' string of 25 straight victories. One of the most interested spectators is Major General Taylor, Academy Superintendent, who sees a preview of the battle royal between the cadet and Irish mascots. Yours truly is right here at the mic. Secretary of War Patterson lends his support to Army, and Navy Secretary Forrestal does a little scouting. General Devers takes in the spectacle. Postmaster General Hannigan is on hand as the still unbowed Army, paced by Arnold Tucker, swarm onto the field to a deafening cadet welcome. Here's the Kelly Green opposition. The tough Irish Terriers When Johnny came marching home, today, he and the service mates who joined him at Notre Dame under the great Frank Leahy put victory the back to the Notre Dame victory march. Undefeated in 1946, they tied the, the awesome start, Army 11 that had run roughshod over Notre Dame's Tucker teams in the two previous the seasons. Army juggernaut rolling, but then the Irish present a stonewall front to Doc Blanchard, and the cadets lose the ball on downs. And so it goes for 60 minutes of battling, bruising football. Notre Dame's Jerry Cowig puts the Irish in scoring position with this 21-yard sprint, and things look black for the Black Knights from West Point. The cadets have their back to the wall now, but that's just where they hold Johnny Lojack. No touchdown! The cadet rooters breathe easier and go wild when Arnold Tucker uncorks the longest run of the game. Tucker, he was one of football's greats today, but this run of his came for naught as the first half ended. The score is still Army nothing, Notre Dame nothing, and 30 minutes more to go. And all eyes are focused on the field as the second half starts. Jim Brennan sends fighting Irish hopes soaring when he outflanks the Army on this yard-gaining romp. And then Notre Dame sit go, swinging wide on a reverse, gets loose for a while until he runs smack into Army's Blanchard. Big guns were here today, a five-star thriller. And here's the last play. Tucker is still in there fighting, but it's all over. Army's winning streak has ended, so is Notre Dame's. But 74,000 fans saw the football battle of the century.